Hey guys, Colleen here at DIYerBehindLemonThistle.com and today I'm excited to share our entryway with you guys on the exterior. If you've been following along here for a while, you might know that we started on an exterior renovation last year and I'm excited that it's finally wrapping up. And so I want to wait to do like the full before and after for the spring when our landscaping is looking beautiful and growing and not at the end of the season. But I thought that I'd share the entryway with you guys. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. All right, so let's start by throwing it all the way back to what this house looked like when we purchased it just two years ago. So when we bought this house, we knew that we'd planned on doing an exterior remodel, but we weren't in any rush to do it. And then last summer, my husband just got the hitch to take all the siding off. So he did that and we found some issues that we spent that summer correcting. And so this year we were finally able to get to the siding. I am so happy with how it turned out. The bright white siding, this is a hardy board and batten with the black accents and black window frames. Kind of give it like a modern farmhouse style, which I wouldn't consider myself farmhouse, but I just feel like the classic black and white palette is so classic and it won't go off trend. And I really love the warm wood accents to balance out the cold black and white palette. We also had the gutters and the soffits done when we did the siding. We do need to do our roof next year still, um, but we'll just focus on the entryway and just how much different and how much better this space looks. So for this remodel, we redid all of the siding, of course. We did all the windows and we chose to have the black uh, vinyl windows as opposed to the white. And then we also replaced the entry door and we chose this door with a really nice beautiful big panel of glass. It's amazing from the inside how much having the glass with just a texture on it as opposed to the leaded glass that was in here before, it brightens up the entire living space so much just with that small change. We also switched out the accessories on the outside. We added more lights. These modern rectangle fixtures are from Globe Electric and I will link them down below. I really love the texture on them and how they have kind of the two different rectangle frames in there. We also switched out the doorbell. This is a really fun one that I found on Rejuvenation quite a while ago. I'll link that down below. It says, please ring, and then the mailbox says mail on it, and I kind of love the black on black, but uh, indented writing on these. It's just a little bit of fun to the space. The other thing that you'll see here is the address sign. I made this address sign on my Cricut Maker using wood, so I can share a DIY tutorial for that in the future, but I just wanted to get this reveal up because I have it decorated kind of for fall, and we're gonna be out of fall pretty soon. So the address sign is kind of meant to mimic the metal address signs that you can get on Etsy and things like that, but I love that this is super accessible being able to make it at home. The other things that we did is, of course, got some planters out here with some grasses and some mums, and then I switched out our entry mat. You might remember here on YouTube, I made a DIY core entry mat and talked about the easiest way to write on core, and I had that mat up until I switched it out this weekend. I would definitely recommend this method, so I made a new one here using the same method. It says, welcome to the jungle, which is kind of fun, and then we swapped out the mat underneath it as well. This is just one that I found at HomeSense for a little bit more pattern and interest to the entryway. I can't believe how much these changes had made to the exterior. I can't wait to finish the rest and share the full before and after with you in the spring. Once we get our landscaping looking all great. That is it. I can't wait to decorate this space up for all of the holidays coming up this year. If you want to see this entryway from the inside, I will link that reveal down below. It is also a great before and after. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you next time.